And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Red Terran in the Southeast, up against Highway Zone. I, I, I'm not sure what that name means, but he is the Blue Zerg in the Northeast. This is the first time that I've played a Zerg on Delta Quadrant. Ever since I uh, f first started playing other races besides Terran on this map, I actually haven't played a Terran on this map. Uh, it's it's always been Protoss or Zerg. I wish him good luck, have fun, and he is much more proper than I am and says good luck and have fun to you too, sir. He doesn't say sir, but it just sounds like it should have the word sir at the end of that. Nothing surprising here, um, so far at least. Uh, drones. Oh, extractor trick. Always always cool there. Did you see it work? Uh, he has high APM because of it. He's averaging about 50. Good lord. I'm only at about 15. So um, he's getting a lot of early stuff done here. But, um, you know, for all that, he's not getting uh, anything out of it. It doesn't look like. I send my SCV to the Zalnaga Tower. Hey, and I... Hey, wait, wait, wait. See, I select him and go back. And why is that? Because I saw this Overlord coming out, even go right through the Zelnaga Tower to double check. He, of course, went to the f the bottom left, uh, the southwest. But because of that Overlord, I was able to spot him early. And I noticed that he got an early spawning pool. It looks like it was about a uh, 14 or 15 pool, followed by a 15 ha uh, extractor. No fast hatchery, no fast expansion from Highway Zone in this game. And still, he does not know where I am. He went to the uh, only other place that I wasn't. So I do have a barracks up, marine being produced, harvesters meeting in the middle. I'm going to keep mine there for now. Not that that's, it's that important. Hopefully that Marine is out in time. Oh, I'm going to go for the block off. Do I get it off? No, he sneaks right in right before I start to build the Supply Depot. And then he stops pretty much inside my base. Uh, what did he see? He saw an Orbital Command and a Refinery just finishing, along with the One Racks and to supply be opposed to complete the block off. So he knows that he won't be able to do any sort of fast zergling play, but he only has, it looks like, four zerglings on the way. Does he have any out yet? No, so it doesn't look like he was gonna be going for the zergling rush here. But what is this? There's the fast expansion. That is, that is great placement. He's actually has me surrounded here already Four and a half minutes in the game, he's got an expansion that pretty much holds me to uh, just a few expansions left. Of course, there's um, this one that I usually call my natural, uh, along with this one right outside my base, along with a high yield here and a high yield there between the two bases. And of course, he's got an overlord there, so I doubt that I'll be able to get that one. But he did finally get six circlings out, and it looks like he's going for the debris here. It, oh, it is always good to get that down early. You don't want to be thinking, I need to get an expansion. Oh, wait, the debris is still up. So he is going to be taking that out, or at least it does look that way. And that's pretty much all he's got. He's got the circlings out. He's got, um, and then drones and an expansion. Uh, meanwhile, I've got my three racks all up, engineering bay on the way, stim pack being researched, and of course marines and marauders are coming out. He is getting metabolic boost, that is the speed upgrade for zerglings. Um, interesting enough, he is still just on one gas. I have moved up to, to two gas here, um, as his hatchery is being morphed into a lair with he should be getting a second gas at least uh, relatively soon, unless he is planning to stick with those zerglings. Um, oh, looks like I did stop for a second there. Uh, still need to get combat shield and concussive shells. Uh, but 
if you look at that, I still have a huge lead in the harvester count and in the income, so that fast expansion is not paying off yet. Uh, unfortunately, he's... Wow, I actually know I have the larger lead in the army count, and I could move out here, and it looks like I am going to. Um, I, I, don't try this at home, kids. Uh, all those zerglings just, just scare me. All of them hanging out the Zalnaga Tower, but of course, they cannot see me as I go through uh, this expansion here, this high yield expansion. Uh, those zerglings might have been able to see me, but if nothing else, this overlord definitely will. And his APM starts to spike as mine went off. I, I'm not actually going for the push here, even though I definitely should. All he's got in his base to block me is a spine crawler. But instead of going for the push, I waited and I stayed outside of his expansion. Don't half commit like that against Zerg players because, of course, they can spot you better than most other races until that observer comes out. So because I'm just hanging out here, he has enough time to to get Zerglings out and get a great surround on me and these guys will go down like nobody's business and now I am no I was gonna say I am out in the army but I still have a few in my base um, moving these guys back once I saw all those Zerglings I was trying to take out the destructible debris but I did not have time Zerglings headed for my expansion seeing that I did not get anything there his destructible debris is down meanwhile he is starting to saturate a little bit with the Queen helping out as much as she can and yeah he's pretty much just hanging out at my expansion to make sure I do not get it which of course I am not Looking at the spending, I have spent much more on the army, but uh, then again, I've also lost more. Um, but I've also got a higher technology, and just we're just about equal on the economy. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what to think here. I'm j I was just waiting for the Zerglings to come in. Uh, this this doesn't look like a complete block off, but it is. Um, so I, I am prepared against these Zerglings, and I believe that he knew that, um, considering that he saw these two supply depots go up alongside this barracks. So he was not willing to go in, even with this massive amount of Zerglings, because, of course, they, can, they can't do that much damage. And, of course, these guys are all ranged. I love my ranged units on the Terran. And here a third, expan or a third base is going down, second expansion, really early into the game. And... We're pretty much still even in terms of the income, though. Even though he's got two bases, third one on the way, and I'm still just working off one base. Um, still nowhere really to expand for me. I'm not, uh, especially with all these Zerglings, he definitely has map control, and I am not comfortable expanding here when he has all those Zerglings. And of course, I don't even know about the other ones here. Banelings on the way. Oh my gosh, and Mutas. Spire did pop out right next to that Baneling nest. If I had dropped a scan, I would have been able to see that. Uh, all those Zerglings, though, did scare me into missile turrets. That is something that I probably haven't talked about before. Um, mass Zerglings can leave you with a lot of gas, um, but it doesn't seem to have worked that, that way for him. But, of course, he has the Mutas out. Uh, Mutas are very gas-heavy, so a uh, complementary... Um, unit composition if you will would be the mutas and the zerglings because the mutas are so gas heavy and of course zerglings just cost minerals so he's sending two mutas in and oh spots the two spots all the missile turrets and quickly runs out but he is able to see the factories sees the tech labs on them and first he's going to be taking out that scv and does so easily he got a little too close there and was hit by the missile turret again, but then again, it did not end either one of those lives. Two, uh, two Mulus are not going to be uh, doing enough damage uh, to wipe out these factories anytime soon, especially those uh, little ABA tech labs. Even though they are hurt, they can still go. Two Mulus just hanging out right outside my base. Can he see from there? 
Oh, he can see my marine cells. That was great positioning from him because I cannot see his mutalisks from there. So that is a great uh, positioning on those two mutas. So he is able to keep an eye on me even though I can't keep an eye on him. And look at all those zerglings. How many is that? Uh, 48, 51 zerglings out in the middle of the field. 12 more somewhere on the field. There they are, along with eight banelings, just the two muta 